Hello and salut everybody. Question of the day is, what are your favorite books in the Bible? Welcome back to my channel, Nick's Quarantine Survival Gear. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe below, share this video, like, and also check out the rest of my videos. Thank you very much for your support. So yes, we're talking about the Bible this morning. It's Sunday morning. We're talking about the Bible. What are your favorite books? Do you have favorite books in the Bible? Do you have favorite verses in the Bible? I am asking this question because so many people tell me they only listen to the Bible at church. They only listen to it at church or, you know, they listen to it from other people. They don't have time to read the Bible or they don't understand the Bible. I want to tell you today, I'm making this video because the one thing that will get you through everything in this world that is happening, everything is happening around the world, around your neighborhood, around your own house, whatever it is that is going on, the word of God is one thing that we can count on will get us through whatever is going on because it's that's the only thing that is getting me through everything that is going on in my life and around me and around the world the word of god is why the reason why i'm being a, i'm i'm able to wake up every morning and carry on so it's helping me and i'm sharing this so that it will help you because i know you can count on the word of god it is not enough for us to just listen to the, the, the word of God at church. Just like we feed our bodies, we need to feed our soul with the word of God. It is important that we do that. Otherwise, just like you get weak when you don't eat, your soul will get weak when you don't feed it with the word of God. So I want to encourage you, feeding your, your, your soul with the word of God is the only thing that will get you through no matter anything that is going on in your life. So just like people say, I have so many, you know, verses or so many books to choose from. It is true. I have so many books to choose from, but I want to share some with you that if you don't have your own favorite books, I want you to start with these favorite books of mine to see what I'm talking about. Because like I said, the one thing that will not disappoint us, the one thing that will not let us down is the word of God. And that's the one thing that will get us through anything and everything that is going on in our lives. So if you're losing hope, you lo using, you're losing faith, you're losing trust, you know, you're getting away, your soul is getting weaker and weaker. You don't believe, you lo you're losing your belief. I want to bring you back. I want to encourage you to go back. Listen to it or read it. Read the word of God. And I promise you, it will get you through no matter what is this that's going on in your life. So we can't forget to start with, we can't forget, you know, uh, Genesis. We can't forget the story of Abraham because we are his descendant today. We call God, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So we can't forget Genesis. And we can't forget the story of Moses. But besides from them, I want to tell you that Joshua, I love Joshua. It's one of my top uh, 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 books. Joshua. Why? Because Joshua is, gives me hope for the new generation. And I also love Samuel 1 and 2 because I love the story of David. My son's name is David. I love the courage of David. And I also love the book of Job. Whenever I'm, I want to complain about something, what is going on around me, and I turn to Job, the book of Job, it shuts me off. I can't say anything anymore. The trust, the faith that Job had, I, I, I mean, that just, it shuts me off. When I read that, I can't say anything else. And I also love the, the book of Psalms. We all love the book of Psalms. I'm an orphan, so the book, uh, Psalm 91, it, it's something that, I, you know, every day, the French vers version, I love the book of Psalms because no matter what is going on in your life, there is verses and chapters in the book of Psalm that will just like, it will get you through anything and everything. And last but not least, the book, the book of Daniel. You all know the story of Daniel. Daniel faith. Daniel and his two, they undergo and the two friends, the two brothers, their faith. See, these are the books that I turn to in this difficult time. And I promise you, if you try these books, you don't even have to read the actual book. You can just and yeah, download the audio version. And listen to, and I promise you, no matter what is going on in your life, you will get, you will get through it with these words, these books of the, of the Bible, these favorite books, these verses from the Bible, they will get you through everything that you are going through. So these are my 
a, a Old Testament list. I'm going to do part two and give you my New Testament list as well. So will you join me in incorporating reading the Bible, these books in your life today? Will you? Will you join me to find your hope, your faith, your trust, your belief in God again, in humanity again, in life again? Will you? Please share this video with everyone you know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and also check out the rest of my videos. Thank you very much for supporting. Thank you for reading. Good reading to you and stay blessed and I will see you next time.